Now convert outline to objects or object. So, so I have my text here and so this option is not only for text. You can also do this with the with objects. Actually, I'll make an object here just to to make it the same. Okay, so we'll do the text first. So I click on my text and then I put my outline. Let's say I'm going to put an outline of four points black or let's make it a different color so I'll make it orange and maybe not orange I'll make it a different color let's say this one burgundy and then I'll make it rounded corners and also make it behind fill and scale with image and I'll click OK I'll make the outline maybe point to, uh, three points to make it a little bit thinner now in here uh, I'll just make the font lighter okay uh, we'll just choose this one okay now if uh, now if I go to wireframe I click on view and click on wireframe you don't see the outline because the outline is not an object yet it's not an object yet so I go to the view and go to enhance now I can see the outline now if I click on the text and I go to arrange and click on convert outline to object okay that means to say the outline here becomes objects becomes a shape already and it's not uh, attached to the font anymore okay now I click on view and click on wireframe now if you notice it the outline become became object now okay. now what's the use of that uh, that's 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 a good feature so that when say for example you want to change only the the outline and if for example you want to put a gradient outline which you cannot do when you have it when the outline is not an object but since this one I go to view and click on wireframe it's already an object then I can put a a gradient outline a gradient fill or pattern fill or any fill I want I go back to enhance here but now if I click on the the outline which is this one and I move it see it's it's two different objects now the fill I mean the text and the outline I click on undo there now this one I can do anything with my outline now so for example I can make my outline put a fountain fill on my outline let's say I'm going to I'll make it a darker color let's say that one and this one goes like this and I'll put it in here 90 degrees and then I'll click OK okay so you notice the outline can is an object already and I can do whatever I want to do with my outline I can put pattern fills if I want to click on pattern fill here I can uh, you know I can make it or I click on bitmap I can make it a wooden effect or this one a cork see you know this you can do that but you can't do that if it's just an ordinary outline so you have to make the outline go to arrange click on convert outline to objects before you can do that so same thing with this one you can also do the same thing here if I'll make a thicker outline okay that's too thick say that outline here and I go back to my arrange and convert outline to curves okay so this is an object but now I can put a uh, fountain fill on my on my outline I'll just make this a different color okay see now you can change the property of the outline because it's an object now